morning morning good morning good morning everyone this has got to be the earliest that i've woken up in literal months and it's still not even like that early <laughs> my face tan looks so splotchy i need to wash it off <laughs> i have had the worst habits the last couple of months and i am so sick of myself i'll talk more about it in a little bit but i'm gonna get up and get in the shower just to like fully wake myself up it's currently 8 25 i don't know if you can see there my boyfriend had to stop at my house today before he went to work and he came over at like seven i asked him to make sure that i was awake because i really wanted to like wake up early and have a good productive day today so he came up to my room and made sure i was awake and then we hung out for a few minutes and then he left and went to work and i've just been laying in bed for the last like hour after that but i need to finally stand up hi guys i just got out of the shower i am going to put just moisturizer on because i want to ice roll my face if it wasn't the dead of winter and literally negative four degrees out i probably wouldn't moisturize i would just go downstairs and ice roll and then moisturize after but five minutes out of the shower my face is already so freaking dry so i'm gonna moisturize and then i'll do the rest of my skincare after i ice roll because there's no point in doing it before because it'll just come off with the water <laughs> all right i'm all moisturized i'm gonna go downstairs and make myself something to eat it's actually 9 30 i took a super long shower I took like an everything shower i didn't want to wash my hair but i desperately needed to and then i also just decided to like shave and everything while i was like deep conditioning my hair so that kind of took me a while but it really doesn't matter because it's still only 9 30 and normally i don't wake up until like noon like i don't get out of bed until like noon so i'm already i'm already ahead of schedule <laughs> Oh my gosh, to show you guys how cold it is here, there's literally snow forming inside of the door. That's snow. Okay, I made it to the kitchen. I want to show you guys this package that I got last night. Okay, my dad broke open this box, literally demolished it. Alani has a new energy drink flavor and it's called Cherry Twist. And I honestly am just so obsessed. I think this might be my favorite packaging that they've ever done. Like, come on, this is so cute. I'm pretty sure this is in collaboration with Emily Ratajkowski. But since they were outside, they literally got like, all of the cans got messed up because it was so cold out. My dad brought these in at like 10 p.m. and I'm so happy that he did because they probably all would have like burst open because you know if like a can of like beer or soda or whatever gets too cold it literally like just pops open. So thank god they're literally still freezing like again they were outside last night they've just been sitting on the counter and they are so cold still. I really want to try one of these but I also really want to make a coffee. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll wait and try one of these later. Oh. <laughs> No, I hate when there's like a little divot. Okay, while I ice roll my face, I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of an update since there was no video last Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to wait until next Sunday to post this. I'm filming this on Monday. I don't know if I'm going to wait until next weekend or if I'm just going to post it like midweek because I feel bad that I didn't upload on Sunday. I have been a literal mess. I do not know what's been going on with me, but I have no inspiration or like no creative juices flowing through my body to like make videos. It's making me so sad because I love love filming videos and I love making content that I'm proud of but right now I'm struggling to like come up with ideas I'm struggling to just like find the motivation to actually like sit down and decide to film a video so I'm really sorry about that I need to figure my sh out. I'm just on like a little bit of like a downward incline right now and I need to get myself back up This video is basically just like a day in my life and there's a bunch of stuff that I need to do I need to run a bunch of errands and we have literally no food at my house because I do most of my grocery shopping for myself I've talked about this before but my dad will go to like Sam's Club or like the normal grocery store and get like the necessities Like bread and eggs and turkey and cheese like the basic ingredients for like what you know Most food that we make requires but if I want to like make specific things or like a specific type of pasta or a specific dinner recipe or whatever I usually go to the store and get those things and then there's just other things that I consistently buy myself that I just don't have any left of at the house and the reason I haven't gone to the store is because we have been dealing here in Wisconsin we have been dealing with so much bad weather I think the whole country has like there's been this whole cold front and like snowstorms happening everywhere but like we got probably I don't even know how many inches there's probably like 14 inches of snow out there at this point I think it's done snowing but the temperature 
temperatures this week are all below zero. So all of like the snow and the ice that's still left on the ground is like freezing really badly and it's making the roads super difficult to drive on and it's honestly scary as hell. I almost crashed yesterday and by crash I mean like my car spun out and like went into the other lane and like I almost got t-boned by a car. So that was fun. That was a nice, fun, exciting moment for me. So I've kind of been avoiding driving at all costs but I think I need to go to the grocery store today and then I also really want to go to Ulta and I have an exchange to make at the mall so maybe I just go for it. Back to me feeling creatively uninspired though. I think I'm also going to search for apartments today. Okay, wait. I need to be done. My face is so cold. <sighs> okay, I'm done. It feels so good though. Like I love that thing so much. Yeah, back to what I was saying though. I really want to look for apartments and actually set up tours and go tour them like soon. I keep going back and forth on like the time frame that I actually would like to move. And I don't even know if I'm for sure going to move. Actually, yes, I am. Like I know I want to. I should just go for it because at this point it's just like I need to do something different with my life. And I know it might be like stupid to just be like, oh yeah, I'm struggling right now. So let me just move. But honestly, like that's the type of shit that makes me happy. So I think I just need to bite the bullet, tour some places, and figure out where the hell I wanna live, and then we can take it from there. Since we don't have a lot of food, I have decided I'm gonna try to make something using the ingredients that we do have. I've never made this before. It's basically an omelet cheesy roll-up with like a burrito uh, tortilla. I don't know. I never, I, I just, I never know. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right, here is my masterpiece. I realized after making it, it's literally just a breakfast quesadilla. I was calling it like an omelet cheesy roll up. Like, what am I talking about? It's a quesadilla with an egg and cheese inside. I don't even have like peppers or tomatoes or anything to put inside of it. So I decided to put like two slices of turkey meat just to like add something to it. I also put Taco Bell Ranchero sauce. I don't know, man, this might be really good. Okay, she's a little bit messy. She's a little floppy. There's a lot of layers to her, but let's try it. Wow. <laughs> it's honestly not bad. It's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. And I think it would be like really good if it had tomatoes and peppers in it. Hey guys, I need to brush my hair. I didn't brush it after I showered just because I don't like to brush it when it's wet because it's like bad for your hair. But now it's just like all stringy and weird. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of makeup on. Nothing crazy, but I just feel like every single day that I don't like do something to get like partially ready, I feel like my day never really started, which might sound weird, but I think it's part of the like part of me working from home and like not really having places to go unless I like choose to go. If I sit in comfy clothes all day and I never do anything to like feel ready, then I kind of just feel like a bum, even if I am being productive while looking like this. It doesn't even have to be makeup either. Just if I like sit down and intentionally like do skincare and like curl my lashes, like that's enough. But I am gonna put a little bit of makeup on and I think I'm gonna go live on TikTok real quick. So I'm gonna go live on TikTok for a little bit, do my makeup and then I'll be back. I did my makeup. I actually went live on TikTok for almost two freaking hours and it's literally, what time is it? 1.13. It's 1.13 already. I still want to go run those errands. I Guys, I'm like struggling so much because I really want to like decorate for Valentine's Day and I'm not even talking about my room. Like I want to decorate an apartment for Valentine's Day. Like I want cute little dish. I think Valentine's Day is like the cutest, most like aesthetic holiday that you can decorate for. Like all of like the baby pinks and like red. It's just, it's so cute and I'm so mad that I don't have an apartment right now to decorate. Right now I'm going to go on apartments.com and I'm going to go through the apartments that I have saved and I'm going to like reach out or like give my info to them and like ask them basically for like a tour. Obviously I can't show you them because then you might know where I'm gonna live. Um, and that's not cute cause I'm not really f***ing with stalkers and stuff. But um, just know that I'm looking at cute apartments for the next like 30 minutes and trying to set up tours. Set up tours, why did I, why? <gasps> I can't breathe.
I'm done looking at apartments. I probably just spent like 25, 30 minutes doing that. Um, I narrowed it down to five. I had like seven like hearted, seven saved that are in my city that I liked. And then I narrowed it down to five and then I sent little messages and two of the places got back to me pretty immediately. I think it's probably like um, an automated reply saying that they're like all leased up and there's none available. So now I'm narrowed down to three apartments and I'm going to try and schedule tours for as soon as possible. Hey guys, I'm filming on my new camera that I got for Christmas this year. It's so cute and small. It's also like face tracking. I don't really know how to use it. I got this more for like travel vlogs and stuff where I just, or like when I'm going to concerts or things where I don't want to carry like my big bulky camera around constantly, but I haven't really been able to test it out and film a video with it yet. So I figured today would just be like a fun day to kind of practice and see how this thing even works. It's so cool. You can like spin it. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, this is what it looks like. It's like this little thingy. It's just, it's so cute and small, but like the quality is really good. This has like the face tracking on. So if I like move it, it'll stay. So like my face is in the middle. This is so weird. I don't know if I like it. I feel like it's going to take a lot of getting used to, and I'm going to have to like learn how to actually use it. But for the time being, I'm going to practice with it. And we're going to go to the store with Noah and see, um, actually go to the store. We're going to like multiple different stores. Okay guys, Noah wanted to try one of these, the new Alani's that I was showing you earlier. And I want the first sip because I want to try it, but I don't really want one still. Mmm, that's pretty good. The flavor is Cherry Twist, and it's kind of similar to the Cherry Slush one, but it's a little different. <coughs> Really good. I like it. <laughs> Likes it. Oh, it's literally freezing out. I don't know how the wind sound is. Hopefully it's fine. I brought like, there's a little, a little mic. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. It's so cold. It's so oh cold. My <laughs> but we made it to Target, which is connected to the mall. And I'm going to go make my exchange. My hand is frozen. Oh my God, my hand this is literally in pain. I don't know if you could hear anything that I was just saying. Okay, I left Noah alone. This little camera is so, like it makes vlogging in public less awkward too. Noah is in Target. He's going to try to find my SD card that I need. And he needs to get like a new shower curtain liner. And then I'm going to go make my Victoria's Secret return. And then we might stop in the food court and get food because I'm kind of hungry. This is so cute, this little sleep set. Adorable. Conclusion, Victoria's Secret conclusion. They don't have the same set that I had that I was trying to exchange for a different size. So I just returned it and I'll pick out a different one, a different time, but I did get a little pajama set. It's so cute, it's like a little Valentine's Day one. There's some cute ones, but nothing that I feel like I need. No, do you need any? You found a bikini you like? A bikini? I don't really like it either. <laughs> we decided to get uh, Panda Express because we were both kind of hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. Noah's kind of hungry. We both got the same thing though. He copied me. I get the orange chicken and the honey sesame chicken and chummy. Here she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a bad <laughs> Cut, 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 cut that one. You know that video where the guy takes a shot in his driver's seat and his friend's recording it? <laughs> He's like, oh. oh no, I don't know. Why is it not detect? Oh, that's cool. See, it's face detecting me now. That's so cool. Hands free. Oh. No hands. No. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but it was moving. First bite. This is like the worst bite. <laughs> okay, focus. Delish. Okay, bye. I'm gonna eat. Oh, it's so cold. We made it to World Market. I love this store. This is like one of my favorite stores to just go in and like look around. I think my lens is fogged up because it was so cold out there. They just have such cute stuff. I think the food is back there in that back corner. Ooh, I'm excited for my apartment. That doesn't exist yet. <laughs> okay, guys, I put this little mic on to test it and see if it works. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Otherwise, this is gonna be really awkward and I'm gonna have to put like um, subtitles. We're in like the food section and we're gonna try to find this. What is it called? Bulldog? Bulldog? Bulldog carbonara. Oh, here it is. No, they don't have the kind. It's like pink. Cause this is like the two X spicy. This one, it would be funny to try though. Cause it's so hot. This is the kimchi habanero yeah, lime. Oh, there's one left. There's one left. Pull that, pull that. This is the one that I wanted. There's literally one left. That's crazy. I don't know if I like this thing. Usually I can record you without looking, you know? Yeah, but I the fact you record me without looking and then you always cut the top of my head off. So maybe you should look at it. Kapo noodle bulldog. Kapo noodle. my bulldog. I'm so annoying. I'm so excited, guys. I haven't had Pop Rocks in so long. Hi. I'm not. In the bag is fine. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you so much. You too. Oh, yeah. I got my bulldog. Got my bulldog. Got my bulldog. I got my bulldog. Yeah. Guys, I'm so excited. This is the best day of my life. We have to go to the grocery store. And on the grocery store is Loki, my least favorite place ever. 
really stupid. No. <laughs> if it's not the consequences of my own actions. It's so smooth though. Know, like usually it'd be like. They can't even tell you're doing that. Can you guys tell that I'm shaking it? Hey guys, oh, this lighting is horrible. Like the worst I've ever seen, actually. I feel like I should move. This is a little bit better. I'm so thirsty. I've been so thirsty since we were at the mall eating because I didn't get a drink for some reason and I was like, eating and when I'm eating, I'm usually a little bit thirsty. Like I want something to drink to chase my food down with, but I didn't get anything and I was thirsty as hell. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Water out of these water bottles is literally superior like if you don't like drinking water Which I don't know how like some people are like I don't really like water like I don't really like drinking water How water is like literally the best thing like if I could think of anything to drink water is the best thing like ice cold water Will forever be the best thing that I could ever drink like it's so good But anyways, this is like the simple modern one. I've talked about this multiple times I had like a light bluish mint It was like a light teal pastel color and the handle broke off because of my mom knocked it off the counter and it was like full of water and ice and it's pretty heavy when it's full she knocked it off and the handle um broke off on the bottom so i had to get a new one and i got the pink one i put my friend eliza on it and she got the light purple one and whenever we're hanging out it's so funny like if we go to like friend group things or even if we go to like literal parties like we both pull up with this because we have to go everywhere with it it's literally the best water bottle i've ever had and like stanley's are great yes i love that for literally every single person in the whole world because everybody has a stanley now stanley's are great but i I honestly think the simple modern ones are cuter and like they're just as efficient they have like the rubber little seal so like it doesn't spill and they're also less expensive than the stanley's oh, and the water just tastes so good out of it anyways i'm back from running my errands i vlogged going into the grocery store and then i put my little camera in my pocket and this is the camera by the way you guys like it is so small there's all these different attachments like this is like a longer it like extends the handle and it's like basically a portable charger for it like you can charge this and then give it extra battery life and then there's also like a small little portable charger handle thing make it like a little longer i don't know really and then it also comes with this little baby tripod which is the cutest thing like in the whole world i think oh wait you have to have one of these adapter things chargers on to be able to screw the tripod in and then you can like set it down i know you guys probably don't care about this but i being somebody that like loves cameras and i love everything to do with just like i don't know i love Love new innovative stuff so much it's so cool so i kind of want to show you guys this is the little camera and this part flips like the screen flips and you can record horizontal or vertically and the coolest part about it is if you guys see while i'm moving this like the camera itself is actually moving so it gives you those like super smooth still shots and like that's where like the face tracking and stuff comes in like i'm moving this a bunch and it barely looks like it's moving at all on the screen like it's literally not even moving like it's saying so it you guys don't care but i really think this is awesome and then when you flip it it flips to you and away from you super smoothly i love it i love it so much and again i'm not gonna be vlogging on here like what i filmed on here today is probably not gonna happen again like i normal vlogging is okay with my regular camera but like when i'm traveling and stuff like if you guys i don't have my purse actually i do have my purse this is the purse that i brought with me running errands today and like this is one of my smaller purses and like this is so easy to just fit in here so for traveling and for concerts and everything it's going to be so convenient and awesome to have this anyways now that i talked about stuff that you don't care about for like 20 minutes um i wanted to show you guys the pajamas that i got from victoria's secret so a little backstory the set that i got it was a set that my boyfriend got me for christmas i know it's so spicy it was so freaking adorable like it was so cute i'm so sad i'm a 32d but i struggle because sometimes that's too small on me so i was like okay maybe i'm a 34 D, but I think I'm actually a 34 C or a 32 double D but he got me a 34 D and it was just like a little too big and I was like if you're gonna spend like this much money on like a cute little like a cute little set i wanted to fit me so he luckily saved the receipt which is crazy i was not expecting him to have that receipt and i was like you know what? we're just gonna have to make it work like i'm just gonna have to like push my titties up in there i took it in to exchange it and they don't have it in store or online so that's really sad because i feel bad he went into victoria's secret like you know how awkward that is for a guy and like he picked me out like the cutest freaking set and then it's just the wrong size and it's not even his fault because he asked my best friend ryan like what size is bailey and she told him the wrong size because i had been talking to her just recently about getting new bras because all my bras are too small so she just like went the next size up like i literally would have said a 34d but whatever we fucked 
stuff. So with the money that I got back from the exchange, I got these pajamas and I still, I told him, I was like, you can go on my phone and like pick out a new set and we'll order it. And like that will be in replace. Like this was me spending my own money technically, like in my head, I was gonna buy this regardless. I found so many cute um, pajama sets there for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, like I was saying earlier, is like my, it's like the, the, <coughs> what? It's the cutest holiday to decorate for, but it's also like the cutest, it's just like the cutest stuff because this like light pink and red and like the little hearts, like they had so many cute like little um, lip print, like lipstick print, p p I'm really struggling right now. They had like a little tank top. It was made out of like a super soft material and then the back was all lace and then it was like these little like loose like booty shorts. Super cute pajama set. Um, I was gonna get that one. It had like little lipstick or what is it called? Kisses. It had kisses on it. I'm an idiot. I was gonna get that one but then I saw this one and I have been obsessed with the silk sets. This was literally $74 which is kind of fucking crazy for pajamas but also like if once you have a pair, I literally got my first pair of Victoria's Secret pajamas for black friday like I, I got it black friday shopping this year and i already have three pairs now because like they're so comfortable so this is the top this is my first short sleeve and short set i have two long sleeve ones i bought myself one for black friday and then my boyfriend got me like the cheetah print one for christmas which he slayed this christmas you guys but yeah here is the top like i could not resist i don't even care i will wear this all year round i don't it's not just a valentine's day thing i hope the shorts fit me though shorts sometimes are weird like i got an extra small but sometimes Sometimes the, like shorts are just like really oh these will fit you don't even know how excited I am to wear this like you actually don't know so that's the only thing I got from the mall uh, what I was saying though is there was another cute PJ set I honestly still want it but I like this one more but they had so much cute stuff and I had to resist because Noah was shopping in Target and I was like I'm gonna quick go make this exchange and then I already spent like 20 minutes in Victoria's Secret like looking at stuff and I was like okay maybe I should stop looking and just go check out but there was a bunch of cute stuff and I think I might um, look online on the app and like add some stuff to my cart to also purchase when me and Leo pick out a replacement for his Christmas gift. Yeah, I'm just gonna edit for the rest of the night. I'm probably gonna go. I have like some Panda Express leftovers. I'm probably gonna go heat that up in a little bit. By the way, I've been home for a while. It's been like two hours since I got home. I just didn't um, update you. So I'll probably go eat and then come upstairs, take my makeup off, brush my teeth, do my skincare and everything like that. Get ready for bed, put my PJs on, get all cozy and then edit. I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that there was no video this last Sunday. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Bye-bye.